And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry, you'll soon see things as I do. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle, a benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world, to give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. You have questions for me, outsider? Please, go right ahead. I'm afraid I can take none of the credit for my husband's creation. I arrived perhaps a year after him, well after he established the Tree Minders. Without his blessing, we would not allow an outsider inside this veil. Although we would welcome you with open arms, you are obviously drawn here to help us. What remains to be seen is what that help turns out to be. Yes? Certainly. Please ask them. The Great One has not yet allowed us entry below ground. We were uncertain as to why until you arrived. The liniment was made by Bloom Seer Poplar. Her knowledge of his gifts and how they can be used to help us is nothing short of astounding. The entrance to the caves is to the southwest of the pavilion. Yes? If the Great One knows you to be worthy of his grace, 
he will allow you to pass through to his heart. Farewell, outsider. Yes, outsider, what is it? By all means, ask away. I would if I was able, but he will not allow us entry. His roots bar the door, and we have yet to earn the right to pass. Of course I am. I know everything that goes on in Oasis. Laurel is free to pursue whatever path she chooses. A long time ago, it was agreed that the Tree Father and the Leaf Mother hold equal say. I don't seek to change those customs. I just hope when the time comes, you'll make the right choice. Bloomseer Poplar has a unique understanding of the innate power that lay dormant in the plants you see around you. She created the sap with the knowledge she brought to us from the wasteland. You'll find the entrance in the southwestern part of Oasis. Go on. I'm afraid the water still bears the mark of man's greed. It's his reminder of what we once were. Perhaps one day, he will see fit to lift this punishment. But I fear we have yet to command his full respect. Of course, we're quite open about everything here. When I first beheld the glory of the Great One, I knew there'd be others who would seek to do him harm. I also knew he would be calling others that he felt were pure of heart to protect him. Right then and there, I created the Tree Minders, the Great One's last line of defense. If the outsider doesn't have his blessing, we simply deny him entry to our home. If they persist on trying to gain entry, or display any hostile act that could potentially harm the Great One, we take action. If the outsider were a raider or some other nefarious type, we ensure they don't report our location back to their comrades. The first part of our name represents our role in the tree minders. The youngest are the saplings, still learning what it means to live in oasis. The branch tenders are our guardians and keep our home safe. Our healers and soothsayers are known as bloom seers. Finally, the tree father and the leaf mother are the creators and the upholders of the Great One's laws. Becoming a disciple of the Great One takes many years of dedication and the will to cast aside your reliance on technological conveniences. However, I feel you've been sent here for a higher purpose and could be more instrumental in our future than a mere tree minder. Go on. Just like a cancer would infest our bodies, the caves below us are infested with vermin. You'd do well to be cautious down there. We've lost a few tree minders in the past. Have no fear, outsider. I know you'll make a wise decision. You're a guest among us, and quite welcome, outsider. Branch Tender Cypress at your service. Welcome to our little home. I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes everyone uncomfortable. I was an outsider like yourself, wandering the world aimlessly, wasting my life trying to seek my fortune. When my eyes beheld the splendor of Oasis, I knew I'd found a holy place. Tree Father Birch allowed me to stay, and I've been here ever since. Actually, you already did some of it. I had to do the ceremony and meet with the Great One. Then Tree Father Birch taught me everything I needed to know about Oasis and how it has to remain a secret. That's why I'm so worried. 
I just think letting this place spread into the wasteland would be an unwise decision. That would worry me. I was out there once, like you. I wandered the wasteland for many years. All I saw was poverty, famine, sickness, hate, and death everywhere I turned. But this place, this place isn't anything like that. We can't allow that kind of evil inside Oasis. We just can't. Like I said before, thanks to Tree Father Birch, I learned everything I needed to know about Oasis and how it has to remain a secret. That's why I'm so worried. I just think letting this place spread into the wasteland would be an unwise decision. Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. I trust we'll speak again, outsider. <laughs>